Hey guys. Um, so I've never done a YouTube video before ever. Um, however, I love this bag and I was looking for reviews on it before I bought it and I only found one out of all of YouTube, only one. And um, she did a really great job. It was just in a different color. And so I wanted to give my um, personal review on the Rioni handbag. It is great material. Um, I mean, it's the same like leather that Louis Vuitton uses, the same canvas. It's just got a different name on it, which I kind of prefer better because it's a more discreet design. Um, the name's not plastered everywhere. They are little tiny arms. But you, it's not something that you can really tell from far off, which I really love. I love the style. Um, let's see, the front of the bag does say Rioni right there. And there are R's on all the hardware. Even right there says Rioni. These are R's that actually has the full name. And the straps are adjustable, which I really like. I do wish that they had um, one more on the bottom because it's just like just enough for my arm and I'm a mom of two and so it's a little hard when I'm chasing you know <laughs> the kids around um and yeah I love the fact so I had been looking at the Louis Vuitton Tivoli for a long time it's been in my Pinterest board and I've always been like oh I'll save up my money for a year I think it would take me a year and a half with my allowance that I'm given our budget within our budget we have allowances and within that uh, it would take me about a year and a half to save up for a Louis Vuitton Tivoli and I got things I want to get things I want to do I like to get manicures and pedicures and I would have to sacrifice all that to get a purse so I had two months to save up for this instead of a year and a half so a lot better on the pocket um so the inside i love how big this opens up like uh, mary poppins bag to the extreme so i can look stylish but also um carry diapers and a changer um so there has been negative reviews on this center pocket right here it doesn't reach all the way down um and yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. However, so right now I have my wallet in it because we live a ferry ride from Seattle. So it's really nice. Like when we go over there, it's just, a, I'm from the South. I'm, I'm not from a big city. So it gives me like a little false security knowing that someone picked pockets, they're going to have to, they won't be able to get my wallet. So my wallet fits in here. Um, and on everyday use though, I just move it to the side. It's really not that difficult to do. See? Where did it go? It is over here. So, I really like the ability of how easy it is to push to the side. So, I kind of like that it's not all the way to the down. Because if I want, I can just move it out of the way. And if I want to put my wallet or makeup or whatever, I can use it there too. There are the two pockets on the side. One ruched, I guess is the right word, and the other one not. And then there is the zipper on this side, and it's the same like zipper charm as the outside. Um, one of the other things that the other YouTuber did mention is the plastic zipper. And I haven't had it for that long. I do want to do an updated video like my goal is to wear this purse for six months without changing out which has never happened in my life I am an addict on purses so that is my goal and I will do a YouTube update then it's more for myself than for other anyways I'm gonna do that and um, hopefully the zipper will remain strong and durable but that is one thing that I am concerned about is because it is a plastic zipper and not like, I think it's brass that this is, that I stood the test of time. So, we'll see about that. But that is really the only downfall I have. But yeah, 
There's feet on the bottom, which apparently is a really nice thing to have in a purse. Um, so, yeah, I highly recommend the bag. I got this on Overstock, which was really awesome. Um, the ones on Poshmark, they really weren't marked down enough for me to justify getting a used one rather than a brand new one. I think it was like a $20 difference. So, I went ahead and got the new um, one, and I think it was $180 on Overstock, plus like $16, I think, of tax and shipping. So, yeah, I highly recommend this purse. Um, I feel like it looks really sleek. There, um, a lot of the Rionis do have a, a circle medallion, I guess, that is usually posted right here in the middle. Um, I'm personally not a fan of that. I did have their, um, tote which is kind of like the Neverfull, and that really bothered me. I feel like it kind of, I don't know, I don't like a lot of flashiness on my purse in that sense, like metals, because I wear a lot of jewelry, so I feel like I'm competing with the purse, and I, I ain't down for that. So, um, I like the fact that this is just the litter and not a medallion. And life calls. So, <laughs> hope y'all enjoyed this video. And, um, Can I yeah, I highly recommend. Can I do this video?